Good morning. Welcome to the New Jersey Morning Show. Uh, we're back here with Scott Stanford, a longtime news and sports anchor here in the New York metro area. Uh, Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs face off against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Super Bowl 55. Scott, how are you to talk uh, all things football with me here this morning? Well, you know what, Lise? It's, it's good to see you guys. Very excited to be on the morning show with you guys. I see you're kind of leaning back, which which leads me to believe you, you, you're, you're pregnant, about to have a baby, which is cool. I like it. Um, and the real good news is it's snowing again in New Jersey, which is great because it's like we're in Alaska right now. It's beautiful. Um, but uh, and when you say when you say longtime sports anchor, how long are we talking about? Well, I met you at Channel 9 in 2006. Oh, man, I was just a young pup back then. <laughs> I mean, it feels like 2006 was yesterday, but unfortunately, it was not. So oh, you can say for sure. All right. Well, listen, I know you want to talk Super Bowl LV. I think that's 55, like you said, if my Roman numerals are correct. I had a Google um, you know, it's it's funny because back when Tom Brady was was moved over to you know to Tampa Bay, everybody said, "Well, the Super Bowl is going to be in Tampa Bay this year. Could be the first time we get a Super Bowl where the home team is in the Super Bowl." And everybody was like, "No, no way, that never happens. Brady can't do this again. The guy's seventy two years old." <laughs> Lo and behold, here you got Tom Brady in his tenth Super Bowl. Right, the guy's about to start his tenth Super Bowl looking for his seventh Super Bowl ring. So you have, realistically, the greatest quarterback of all time going up against the greatest quarterback right now in Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs. So you got some great storylines there. Uh, you know, these two guys have faced off, I think it's four times before, and they're, they're two and two against each other. Uh, and here you got Mahomes, who, you know, I think he, he's trying to become the first quarterback ever under the age of 25 to win two Super Bowls. Two straight Super Bowls. The guy's got a four hundred million dollar contract, uh, you know. So he's living in Schaefer City, and it's just you know. It, here's the thing, though. You know, it, yes, it is a home game for the Bucks, but the fact that there aren't going to be that many people in in the stadium, uh, I think that bodes well. Uh, it bodes better for the Chiefs because it's not. Yes, it's in Tampa, but it's not really a home game. Uh, for the Bucks at this point, because they're only letting in, I think, what they say, 25,000 folks yeah. out of a possible 80. And a lot of those folks are going to be first responders from around the country, healthcare workers from around the country. So you, I, I don't think you necessarily have that, you know, Bucks home field advantage in this game. Uh, but it is, it, it's pretty crazy when you think about it. I, mean, I, I'm, I started eating more kale just because Brady was doing so well and the guy's in such fan. I mean, listen, who's living a better life than him? Would you rather be Derek Jeter or Tom Brady? You pick it. Either guy living the most amazing life you could possibly have, right? Um, Seriously. And, and it's and funny that you mention that because Brady moves into Jeter's house. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, he, moved in, he, moved, he moved into his house for like $75,000 a month, which is, you know, that, that's that's pocket change for those guys. Um, you know, and you just, you know, you look at some of the people, uh, you know, that, that Brady and Mahomes have around them and you got a, a, a great cast of characters, right? You got two of the best tight ends in the game, Gronk, who, who went over to Tampa with Brady because he, he just knew something special was going to happen. Uh, and then you got Travis Kelsey, uh, you know, from Mahomes having one of the best years a tight end could have. Um, and it's, listen, it's just amazing uh, that, you know, the NFL in this time of, of uh, you know, coronavirus and the pandemic that they, you know, they they brought this season to to a finale, um, you know, with all the testing and, and some of the guys had to sit out. Some of the games had to be moved around to Tuesday nights because players tested positive. It's just absolutely amazing, much like the other leagues that they actually brought the season to a finale. Um, and, the, you know, I can't imagine since since no one's really going to be in the stadium. And there's really nothing for any of us to do. I, I bet you, and I'm not really a betting guy, but I bet you that this is one of the most watched Super Bowls in history. You know what Scott, I mean? You, 
I, I would take that bet. It's got to be. Yeah, it's just it's something to do. And speaking of coronavirus, I heard recently that the the Chiefs had a little concern with coronavirus. Their barber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that wild? Who would have thought the barber could bring down the whole Super Bowl? But uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> Um, I don't remember which players, but I know t- two or three of the players were getting their hair cut. The barber had tested positive. These guys tested positive, and it's just, I mean, the whole thing is insane. Um, you know, not not to get uh, scientific, because I, I, I played a doctor on TV, but I'm not in person. Um, you know, the viruses, it's crazy. You don't know how you get it, where you get it, how, you know what I mean? I mean, you can I can get it from touching my own computer these days, but... Uh, yeah. It's just wild. Yeah. It, what, what a side story, you know, the barber uh, <laughs> for the Chiefs. <laughs> so, Scott, just switching gears a little bit here. Um, you have a show with Suki, your, mm-hmm. your old partner from Pix11. Talk to us about that. Yes, yes. The Suki and Scott show, guys, was kind of born out of the pandemic. There we are. Look at us. A couple of <laughs> handsome kids. Um, our show was really born out of the pandemic back in March. Uh, We started it as a hobby from our, you could see from my basement here in her kitchen, uh, and it literally snowballed into this five night a week show uh, where we, it's it's kind of like the Tonight Show. We have celebrity guests, we have entertainers from all over the country, great, just amazing. You can't believe the talent that's all over this country of people that you never heard of, singers, magicians, illusionists, comedians, Uh, they all come on our show. Uh, we've had some of some of the biggest names in Hollywood come on the show, and it's just it really has snowballed uh, to almost a year later, where it's you know we we have hundreds of thousands of viewers. Uh, we're you know we're, we're talking we're, we're on NJOnAir.com. As a matter of fact, you guys can go to our Suki and Scott page where all the shows are there, uh, and it's just it's been amazing. I have publicity people and PR people who are emailing us constantly all day to get their guests on our show. And it's just been, we have Rick Springfield coming on next Wednesday. That's no way. If you don't think that I've been waiting to sing Jesse's Girl to Rick Springfield, you <laughs> don't even know what's coming. Now, Scott, you obviously cut your chops working in newsrooms all around the New York metro area. Sure. Isn't it beautiful how easy it is to do a show from your basement or living room and, you know, just rolling out of bed or, or, finishing up dinner, not having to commute, and then still having all of these people tuning in and getting these great guests. Yeah, it well, really, I think- It really changed our industry. Yeah, no, and, and I think that's that's what made these guests available to us is that they don't have to get out of their homes to come on the show. We would never have these guests coming into a studio, half of them, but because all they have to do is click a button and they're on for 20, 25 minutes, uh, it's been so easy. And and you know what? They're all looking for things to do also because they're all sitting home. Uh, and all the entertainers who are on cruise ships, who used to entertain in nightclubs, they're all sitting around looking to stay busy and, and stay polished. Um, so it's just it's just been a great outlet for us. Um, you know, the, the pandemic um, for our show has been and I, it sounds kind of crazy, but the pandemic has been a blessing for our show. Uh, you know, when you talk about, hey, has anything good come out of this thing? Well, for us, yeah, it has uh, this show. Um, and we, you know, we're in discussions with different streaming sites now and, and different cable networks. Um, so everybody's really catching on. And it, the best thing is, Lisa, is when, you know, at, we had Bill Engvall on last night, the comedian from uh, Blue Collar Comedy Tour. And he said, I said, Bill, You've been on Kelly Clarkson and Ellen, The Tonight Show. I said, when, you're, when your publicist said, hey, you're going on the Suki and Scott show this week, you must have said, who the hell are these people? Number one, what's happening to my career? And he said to me, he said, you know what, guys? I have to tell you, this is the most fun I've had on a show in the last two years. And I was like, can you, can you say that again for the promotional clip? <laughs> um, but it's just, uh, it's just been, it's been great. So yeah, Suki and Scott show, we're here on NJOnAir.com, uh, Facebook live and, you know, all kinds of streaming sites and it's, we're on Tuesday through Thursday, seven 30 live. And then of course the show is set up on the site, but, and we have crazy, our fans are crazy. It's all 40 plus women around the country and they're absolutely, they're insane. Absolutely. And I say that crazy alone. fans are the best fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I, and, and Scott, you know what? Nothing wrong with with thriving in a new situation. So yeah, congratulations to both you and Suki. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You, we really appreciate it. Uh, 
Super Bowl. By the way, Brady comes away with his seventh Super Bowl on Sunday. That's my. Oh, there it is. Okay. 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 (laughs) Thank you, guys. Sure.